Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Essa Ryan. Today, oh boy, let me tell you, we have a very fun game. And I say that every time, but I mean it today, I really do. If you're familiar with the channel, you know that I run community polls, and I have been doing for some time because we hit 40,000 subscribers, which is amazing, and it means I'm going to be playing Tokugawa. A certain Peter though, he came second. And the Russian Empire, they've always been one of my favourite civs to play, so I thought, I'm not going to let you fade into second place. Place. We're gonna give you a game, but this isn't just any game because the channel supporters, oh, they've been feeding me ideas. Cheeky, incredible ideas. Also, someone called Paul has been in my ear, but, but that, that, he tells me not to tell anybody that, so that's fine. Today, I'm going to be playing the most cursed and wonderful form of Russia because I can hear you all saying there's a meta, the Russian meta. It's easy. You pick a cold map, you put down the lavas, you go for Dance of the Aurora to get crazy lava adjacency in the tundra, you go work ethic to make the production from the holy sites, you put secret societies on so that you can play void singers and then your faith which is obscene. Well that turns into gold and science and culture. You pick up monumentality in the classical era and then you spam settlers. It's a really good strategy. It is by far the Russian meta. That's not what we're going to be doing today. No no, we're playing Ursa's Russia. Better Russia. Well, not better Russia, more fun Russia. I'm going to be playing Hermetic Order Russia. <laughs> Let the chaos reign. Hermetic Order Russia is what happens when Ursa decides to get as many great people as possible in one game and see how crazy the ley lines can get. Especially when the wonderful channel supporters feed me this mod, Ley Line Spawn Improvements. There are a lot of ley lines on this map. This Russia is going to be rather silly. I've got the extended mods that improve the amount of great people in the game because I wanted to see just how many we can get. There are a lot of great people available to us. A lot. It's dirty. It's standard speed. These are the details, but you don't need these. Actually, the script is Highlands. Why does that never have a thing written in? Odd. Come to Discord. All of the mods I use, as well as all the mods you'll need for this game, and the save file for this game are all there. Don't set the game up yourself. Don't do that. It's silly. Become one of the Discord clan. Yes. Do it. Let's get going. And now, for an important update. Having been expelled from Oxford University, Ursa Bear had met a man named Paul. Oh dear. Luckily for Ursa Bear, he had amassed 40,000 subscriptions. These beautiful little signatures attracted the attention of none other than Gilgabro, scared off by the majesty. Paul retreated and left Ursa Bear to his way. Searching for new subscriptions, Ursa Bear travelled to the coast, where lo and behold, it looked like more people, more people for subscriptions. Alas, it was not to be. Ursa Bear, our sweet, innocent bear, is now trapped, harassed by giant crabs. Will you save Ursa Bear from crabs? Will you help Ursa towards his goal? Thank you so much. Back to the video. Turn one. Look at this. Mountains ahoy. A highland star often has lots of hills, lots of mountains, and this is no disappointment on that front. We are on the south of a very cold map. I like that. And don't forget I get one thief and one production from all tundra tiles that I work. Now that's important because even though we're going to go hermetic Russia, the best Russia, if I don't get Dance of the Aurora, well this game is going to get rather silly. It's a very good pantheon and I still want to play it because what I want to do is find this line between normal temperatures and Russian temperatures and straddle it eternally. Mind the line the entire game. Holy sites go south. Prosperous land goes north. If I don't get that pantheon, that means my holy sites are going to be rather rubbish. However, if I settle up here, I'll only be working a tile that gives me one faith. That means it'll take 25 turns to get the Pantheon, and let me tell you, Deity AI, even though it's a six player map, they will claim that Pantheon because it's a cold map. They always do, so we're going to move the capital south. I'm moving there, and actually, that is good. That is a river, that is a copper. I'm going to settle on it. That'll give my capital an extra faith, and then I've got other tiles that I can work that'll give me more faith around here. This is good. In fact, there's even tobacco over there that gives me faith as well. So there's lots of faithy options. It's a turn three settle, but it's worth it because kablamo. Now I have a bonus production from settling on tundra as well as two gold, that's for copper, and a faith, that's for tundra. Two faith per turn, turn 25 the pantheon? No, no, no. Now we're on turn 16. Is it enough to guarantee we get this pantheon? Absolutely not, but we'll give it a good go. Step one, pick astrology and pray. 
I've got Barb Clams, Heroes and Legends and Secret Societies modes all on. I could try for a hero today. Go for a monument? Hmm. I think I'm going to go for the elusive scout triple start though. This is a Highlands map after all. There is a lot of land to explore. Some ones to my north. Do you see this? This is the Settler Lens. Can't settle here. No, no. It's what we like to call a dead giveaway. Oh, it's a city state. I was worried we would have people right next to us, but no, it's all good. It's the city state that gives me culture for every great person I've ever earned. Honestly, I didn't even rig that. That is wonderful. Oh, this is a sign, ladies and gentlemen, that this game will be brilliant. Now, this game was supposed to be fun, so I put Bear's Governor Overhaul on because I want to have a lot of fun. We'll think about our first Governor title in a little bit. Although, actually, what I could do is put Cardinal down. We've played with this before, haven't we? 60 Faith immediately in my capital. That gives me the Pantheon. Oh... And then 25% production towards holy sites and 10% production towards holy site buildings. Those are some fun stackable abilities. I did want to unlock the Hermetic Order fairly quickly though. Mm, I'm going to try. I will try. I won't lie to you. If we don't get the Pantheon, I might look to restart and then get it. We'll see how it goes. That gives us an option, doesn't it? We've got an option to play with that if we want. If we can find our natural wonder. That's what I'm looking for here. Second scout. It's out. I like to explore the tundra. It's good to know which tundra is good and which tundra isn't good. That's an envoy. We'll save you for a little bit. That's another city state though. Rapid night. Sanguine pact. No hermetic order though. No, no. That's what we're looking for. First meet. That's another culture per turn. All oh, that's good. Code of Laws. If we put God King in, we actually save a turn on the Pantheon. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go survey. Because people tell me all the time to improve my scouts. So we're going to try it. The barbs will be incredibly tough to kill. But maybe my scouts will be so powerful that it doesn't matter. Am I going to try and beeline Oracle today? You better believe I am. The tundra ends here. Well, it doesn't end. But there's sea and crabs. An entire field of giant crabs. This is impenetrable. No one shall travel down to that obscene, horrendous place to myself no 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 four scouts in a single game is it possible i think it is they called him mad but he did it anyway here's the pantheon choice there is dance of the aurora oh all right i'm happy about that 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 makes me a little happier now we can get our crazy lavras do i just gamble though on taking and finding a natural wonder we haven't found any yet which is a little bit concerning to be fair with you anyone getting any profit points yet no so I'll hold course. We'll hold them. Sure, it'll be fine. I want the Hermetic Order though. Find me it. Find me it now. So now that I've got all the scouts, my warrior, you make your way back. Make your way back south. Barbarians will appear. I want you back. I've got the scouts going to do everything that I need to rant here. And a settler. Get a second city. As quick as we can. I'm going to force myself to work this tile. That's food. Yes, I do know what food is in St. Petersburg, I promise. Urban planning. Pop it in. Another production. It's a small amount, but it makes a difference. Okay, my warrior's taking ages to get back. You stay and explore somewhere. I'll make a new army. A better army. Political philosophy. Muscats found. It's all good and all, but it's not hermetic order, is it? That's what I want. Astrology. It's really tempting to pop the lava down instantaneously. One of these delightful plus seven lavas, but no. I will hold on. I will hold on. Get that settler going and then we will build. Kublai, I haven't seen you in a while. You're over there. That's a long way away. That's okay. Caguana, lots of culture. City states today. Is it telling me something? Am I getting a hint? I think I might be. Am I regretting holding this governor off for so long? Yes. Yes, I am. I really, really would have liked to have found Hermetic by now. Bob Camp. Spearman? Wouldn't be a bad pickup, would it? I'm gonna go directly south. There is some beautiful wine I can work with my second city. And some lovely lavra. Does that count as coast? It does. I could get the sailing boost. I do that, you know. Uh-oh, that's a scout. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see. Is Ursa's ability to move his starting units away going to creep up and bite him once again? <laughs> only time will tell. Either way, I'm gonna save my gold. So right now, I'm gonna go for the first and only plus seven in and around my capital right now. About 55 gold may come in handy in a little bit, so we want to save it where we can. Why is the lava so good? Debatably one of the best districts in the game. You build it in half the time, which is wonderful. And whilst it was nerfed a little bit, it's still pretty good. Two great profit points. That's awesome. Not just for getting a religion, but it also gives you plus one faith for the entirety of the rest of the game. Because once you've got a profit, you, any profit points you get just convert to faith. Don't know if you need that, but it's a fun little fact. My city borders grow by one tile each time a great person is expended in the city. That is something people forget. It's really good. But a shrine gives a writer point, a temple gives an artist point, and a worship building gives a musician point.
mind. Oh, yes. Those great writers, they're gonna be very much on my line. Aztec, am I a warrior or a coward? No, I'll have to admit. I'm a coward. Calls me out so quick. 351 military strength on turn 28. Muscat, are, are you okay down there? Go left. Go left. Go. Yes. My bravery. It paid off. <laughs> I say bravery. My foolishness paid off. Whatever it was, it paid off. You know what? I'm going to claim this city state with my two envoys. Bit of error score and a lot of visibility. And the twins. Oh. Could I kill Aztec with the twins? Would that be possible? Maybe possible. I actually don't know what sort of game I'm going to play. I think I might play this one fairly peaceful, to be fair. I've had quite a lot of aggressive games recently. I like the idea of just sim sitting this to quiet oblivion. Beautiful ecstasy of just sitting around and building perfectly. Sounds quite fun. Yeah, let's do that. You may notice one scout's going right, one scout is going left. Highlands map, totally landlocked. So you can get the five era score from circumnavigating the globe pretty easily. You can do that in the first era, in the ancient era. Normally means that you can guarantee yourself, absolutely guarantee yourself a golden age. Yes, Scotland. You had the fountain of you all along. Ugh. Oh. Well, there we go. There's Hermetic. Now, this mod, it promised a lot of ley lines, okay? Let's see if it delivers. Oh, there's one in the capital. Immediately, that's exciting. Okay, I found 18 so far. <laughs> it's not an obscene amount, but that is a lot, including two over there, one there, and so my capital is actually going to have two working ley lines. And then there's some over down, oh, in this direction. Ah... This is exciting. This is very exciting. By the way, I'm not the only person that's going to go crazy on this map. Look, Scotland, already getting two scientist points per turn. They also have gone hermetic. Scotland will have ley lines. They're going to have a lot of ley lines. <laughs> they are going to get a lot of science. I was going to settle on this tile, but I'm actually going to remove the woods and settle on this tile because then all of these ley lines are all within range of my second city, which is pretty lovely. Lavra. It is complete. No one's getting any profit points yet, but I do want the first religion. So let's work. I think a shrine. Is it worth getting the shrine immediately? No. Let's get a builder. There's loads of tiles I can work here. Loads of them. City number two. Sailing. Boosted. Astrakhan. Oh, these ley lines already. They're going to be good. We're going to have to wait a little bit of time. We get our chemical societies before the third upgrade, the industrial era. That's when we'll see the ley lines thriving, jumping into the best they're ever going to be. Till then, we're just going to have to wait. That's a plus nine. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go into my capital by that tile, swap it over, pop the lava down immediately, and mark this as a government plaza, because then we'll get some very silly, very silly adjacencies. Anansi. I like Anansi. I think Hercules, Himiko, someone like that. That's what we're gonna go for. Oh, there are so many ley lines around here. Yep, yep. Okay, we're gonna have quite a few. My cities, I'm just gonna beeline the ley lines. Be the lays and lay the bees and wasp the lines. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Leventa. Most importantly, that is a thief city-state. We like that. Solomon would be an amazing sovereign to take. The great sovereign mod. A whole new class that's basically earned from government plaza buildings. A couple of world wonders and cards. They're very difficult to get, but instantly builds temple in the city. And temples give two production. Oh, that is tasty. We'll see. Look at all this sugar. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to cook it, but I will order it from Zanzibar. But these sheep can't get married. No, now they can. My first farm. My first irrigation improvement. So proud. Now to unlock campuses. I was thinking about competing for some scientists. Hmm. Yeah, the AI may be going for scientists. Maybe I should stick to my lane. Should we go theater squares rather than scientists? <laughs> might be, might be the option. Gaul, honored to meet you. You're over here. Have you met the last person? There's someone out there. Yes, you have met them. Interesting. Can I have your luxury? Oh, there are good luxuries here. I'm just saving up for a shrine. A second city could use one, actually. 10 turns on the era, by the way. 280 gold. Have another shrine. Shrines are going to be the centerpiece of everything I do. All right, all right, hang on. You can buy it from me. They don't even want it. Oh, I mean, come on now. Scotland will give me 200 gold for it, and then I can buy wine for 50. There you go. See, look at that. That was easy. Trading with Ursa. Sell your luxuries for loads and buy the AIs for nothing. 
Wilhelmina makes up the rabble. That's everyone. We've got the golden edge. And what I'm going to do is just avoid circumnavigating the globe for a little bit. We'll do that next era. In about eight turns, the world falls into two camps. Scotland, Netherlands, and myself, we all like each other. We're all hermetic order. And then everyone else. They do not know the true ways. True ways of ley lines and their brilliance. Some more gems. Some more production. Craftsmanship boosted as well. Excellent. This is all chaining up so nicely. Oh, and 180 gold, you say? Delightful. Anshin. Two signs from great works of writing. <laughs> we will keep an eye on that one. It may come in handy in a little bit. Six classical era writers we want, by the way. Every single one of them I want to pick up. Better get this oracle building fast. Sinbad. What a map to unlock Sinbad, eh? Early Empire. It gives me access to a governor. And now we have a choice. I am a big fan of Pioneer. It does a few things. As soon as you adopt it, it grants you two population in the capital upon recruitment. That will turn my four population capital into a six population capital. You can then start getting two food in every city as well as extra growth rates. You can get yourself extra settler production and new cities starting with extra population. Oh, it's really good. There are two we're going to play with today that I haven't played with before. Educator. 15% great people. That's awesome. Three thought. 1% of my empire's culture, faith, gold and science for each great person I've recruited. Oh yes, that's somewhere we need to go down. But Curate is also good. Great works with more culture. World wonder production. Yes, it's a lot of good stuff. I will take Pioneer to start with though. Six population capital now. Oh, that just shaved six turns off the Oracle. And give it five turns. As soon as it's established, I can produce settlers in St. Petersburg and I don't lose population. That's wonderful too. Valletta. Oh, if only I wasn't running such a huge faith game, hey? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I got a builder from a tribal village. That's genuinely really helpful. I have apprenticeship boosted on turn 48. That feels fast. And a religion. I'm going to actually establish my religion next turn. It's a bit of a risk because someone might grab what I would like to grab, but I'm going to take the risk, you know? I want the era score in next era when it would be helpful. As I learned to irrigate, we hit a golden age. Only Scotland can compete with us. It is going to be a monumentality golden age. We're playing Russia as it's sort of intended, to an extent. To an extent, because my religion, well, that's going to be something slightly different. The meta is work ethic. It always has been, always will be. But the Ursa way is playing Feed the World. And the reason that this works well with Russia is because you don't need production with Russia. You're going to get a load anyway. Tundra has no food. And we want great people and we want districts. If I put a shrine and a temple in a city, it'll have six food and four housing. That six food is enough to keep three population alive because each population requires two food per turn. So three bonus population just from having those buildings. Three population? Where does that ring a bell? Oh wait, that means the city can have another district and you've got the housing. So instead of having a four population city with a bunch of production, I'll have a seven production or seven population city with one more district and those three population, well, let's say they're each working mines. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. You'll get as much production, if not more. And it also means I can put my lava anywhere on the map, not just in the tundra to make them work. It's so much better. I want to get my worship building down as quick as I can as well. Good Wara, same thing. Let's just get a super plump religion going. Excellent. Excellent. And then we'll go down and get temples as soon as we can. Here come the barbs. Better have a unit, eh? Well, that's fine. We can actually defend ourselves fairly well. I have built some troops. Not a lot of troops, but enough. Another governor. Two food in every city? Well, that would go incredibly well. Done. Oh, my cities are growing so fast now. Yes. The world is round. We proved it in 2040 BC. Yes. Just like history. It's a lot of faith built up. A lot of faith built up. Well, as fun as it would be. Not going to use it on great people at the moment. We're going to use our cities to grow great, great people. Yeah, I'm going to expand. Now that the pioneer is established, we're going to just expand. 150 faith for a settler. Yep, we should be fine. That should be fine. Where do I put my next city? Hmm, I'm going to be chasing ley lines, I think. It's tempting just to go and settle on top of that one. And I can work this olive really fast. Yep, let's go back. This area is safer. This is looking a bit Barbie at the moment. And they've got arches and everything. Stop it. Leave Ursa alone. It's mean. Watermill in the capital. Yep, I am beelining construction. It's such a good tech. Oh, the city state was trying there briefly to send some units to come and help me. 
they just were getting shot down and killed quite brutally there, but we won't, we won't think about it too much. Pumping settlers out there. That's three. One, two, three. Lovely. Now all I need is actual troops to keep me safe. Selling my wine. Gonna sell it to my allies. I feel like they'll look after it a little bit better. Oh, it's that archer. It's the archer I don't like. Gonna bribe them. Will you go away? And then if I pull my units back so they can't see me, in theory, I'll be fine. Maybe. See if that works. Means at least they won't come into my borders. Whether or not they'll actually leave my borders alone is another question. Oh, that's a relic. That's nice in any Russia start, but particularly this one, quite fun. Ah, of course. So these barbs coming from this direction, they're not actually connected to this barb camp. That was a totally unconnected barb camp. <laughs> These are the setting sun barbarians. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I, I'm in a lot of trouble. Um, okay. Right, what do we do in this circumstance? I've got slingers appearing and I'll get some archery done in a second. All out attack might be the best one for me. I was going to go autocracy for wonder production hit. Classical Republic might keep me happy. Eventually I want to go for Classical Republic. That is the one I want to end on. But I think I'm going to go autocracy just for a little bit for the wonder production. Very strange way around of doing this, but I think that works for me. Let's go Discipline, Diplomatic League, and then Corvée to stack right on top of the extra wonder production. We should, that should push it to a nice amount and it certainly does. Fire Branch, Setting Sun. This is a different one entirely. Oh, that's a unique unit though. Oh, I love it when you can finally sell your diplomatic favor. Scotland is bankrolling me quite heavily here. I need another 70 gold. I need that unit as quick as I can. So I'm actually going to have to exchange my gold per turn to just get at least 70 gold in one go. Oh, it's five gold per turn I'm sacrificing here, but this will keep me protected. No, I need a little bit more. Okay, open borders is good. Right, fine. Yes, do this. Higher. Oh, it's the wrong side of my nation, but at least they're on the way now. That's good. In Gazagamu. Oh, there are some good city-states on this map. Pyramids just got built. I hate seeing things get finished right when you're about to finish something yourself. It's like, no, don't be the wonder that I was looking for. Not this time. Tula, that's another continent. Oh yeah. Okay, remember that because there is a thing where I can get gold rush, two food production as well as 15% faith in gold for cities on a different continent. That's cool. Slinger kill? Yes, slinger kill. I want to pull this archer into standing next to my toa. So the settler's going to just move to that tile. It's cheeky, but it might just work. Fez, these city-states really are so good. Oh, it's like a built for me. The gamble worked, by the way. The ley lines look so cool on the map. Oracle. I wouldn't normally put so much production into an early game wonder like this, but it is very tempting. And if there's anything that I know about how I play, it's if you dangle something shiny in front of me, I will go for it. Delicious. Delicious. More great people. Let's really push this one in. Theatre Square is going to happen very, very soon. Archery will finish next turn. That is quite good as well. My Toa is just, look at that. Bashing straight through, giving me bronze working. The slinger can get another kill. I'm just gonna leave this slinger back a little bit, put it on defensive terrain because we can get two archery upgrades. Move you forward. Let's get the government plaza down. More governors. It's always what we need. Always more governors. This settler, by the way, I'm trying to skirt round to these ley lines. I can sneak round. That'd be quite handy. Okay, they did take a pot shot at me, which I don't like, but that's fine because I can go archer, archer. And now I feel instantly more secure about my defensive arrangements. I'm just going to hold that line there. Sneak this city round. <laughs> this might pull the warrior away, actually. Which hero do we want? Who would be best? Anansi's always fun, but I'm actually going to go twins because I'm being attacked with so many barbarians. Barbarians. I feel like if I stole them, well, then I can just become stronger than they'd ever imagined. It's a sort of strike me down and I will rise more powerful situation. I like that. Okay, yep, my archer took a little pot shot at me there, but that's not going to do you well because now, <laughs> now I advance and kill the barbs. The twins probably would have been quite handy there. No matter. No matter. We push out. I may be sweet enough, but I do need some sugar. Scotland will buy it for a lot. Scotland has so much gold. What's going on with you, Scotland? Ah, six cities. That's probably what's going on with Scotland. A hero walks among us. I think I'm going to finish Pioneer first. This just gold rush, urban boom, is so good. So we're going to go land acquisition. Four extra tiles when settling a city. Combine that with Russia's already ridiculous ability to get loads of extra land when you settle cities. I like to call the effects of that comic. Ancestral Hall. Yeah, gonna have to finish this one soon. 
So I was going to put a theatre square down on this tile, the lovely tile. Kind of means I want to wait on this city thinking about it, because I would like the settler. I'm about to chop out that wood. Yeah, this might be, might be good. Oh, don't mind me if I just nab this. Hee hee hee, military tradition. Nice. 38 strength unit against a 10 strength scout, which has minus 5. Yeah, it's not going to go well for you, is it? Here it is. Bam. Another governor. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Urban boom. Two housing and amenities in every city. I don't mind if I do. I could have got an extra population, but I actually think it's better to just keep all my original cities nice and happy. That is city number four. Oh, and the lava choice is wonderful. Look at this. Plus eight? A plus eight, you say? Well, I don't mind if I do. Thinking about it, though, I'm going to start settling in the other direction. We're going to go this way. Really start to explore the other continent a little better. There is a mountain pass there. Interesting. Okay, I need to send a settler in that direction and then send a trade route after them. That's a handy thing to do. Twins, why don't you go and explore it for me? Oh, I just realized I just locked in the autocracy focus card, didn't I? Uh, I just finished my tier one building. Whoopsie, I meant to do it with classical Republic. Oh, uh, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, we just got something that's given us two housing and two amenities in every city. We should be okay going forward on that sort of stuff. You would hope. Did we get any iron? Oh, I did. Underneath the mine I've already put down. I missed some over there as well. Yay. City number five. On a ley line again. Um, yeah, you, you've got the theme here. All of my cities are going to be put on ley lines where they can. Especially when you can create lava as like a plus nine. I know. I know what you're saying. All oh, work ethic. No, 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 no. It's all about the food. Trust me. Look, 27 production. Yes, work ethic would have given me a lot more production, but I'm working so much more food and will do by the end of the game. High population, hermetic Russia. It's the way to play. Spices. I mean, at some point I'll stop selling this, but it's so much gold I'm getting. You, you might as well. How about scripture for plus 17 faith per turn? Oh yeah. Actually, saying that, should we move off? I'm just going autocracy. You know, we're playing this differently. I'm, I'm going for a weird Russian build anyway. Let's just lean into it, I say. Discipline, Diplomatic League, Scripture, Corvée. It's all good. Who do I want to be friends with? Leventa? Hmm, eventually. But I think... Oh, sorry, the letter I was thinking for city centre buildings. It is Leventa I want, because just one extra faith on shrines. Let me tell you, it's good. Plus, now I can put down a temple. Oh, it's so much more food. So much more faith. Yes, housing as well. These Tundra cities, they will continue to grow forever and ever and ever and ever. Robert the Bruce just got Stonehenge, but that is a theatre square. Now, the theatre square is really, really handy because I have Oracle. That means we'll be getting another three writer points per turn and we can start to really push these writers through. Especially when I put an amphitheatre in, plus five culture. Yes, please. Just sounds like a lot of fun. It's Menanke. There's such good wonders that we can build in this city. I want my capital to grow to 10 population to get another district down as soon as possible. So let's get Temple of Artemis. The actual location of it is less important. Amenities. I mean, I could put it on this copper tile in order to spread it over to the tobacco. And it puts... No, that's kind of it. Or I could put it down here or on this tile. That tile puts the wine in range in that direction. This wine. Yep. All right. Just a little bit of stuff. Let's put it down there. It's five turns. For what? I can actually build it faster than my Gerwa. So we're going to do it. Hanging Gardens. I built this in my second city because I've got so much production because of all the food I'm getting. Feed the world build. They said you'd have no production. Growth by 15% in all cities. It stacks. All of the abilities stacking. Gonna get huge, prosperous cities that make even Canada blink and go, wow, maybe we're not the tundra food specialists. What's going on? Also, all of my gold right now is just going into shrines and temples and beautiful things. Lovely things. I feel like we're going to get quite a few very decent theatre squares this run. Yeah, really pushing. Netherlands are going mad on theatre squares. They've got four of them already. Wow. How about? No, I disapprove of this strategy. Therefore, you must detest and stop because Ursa has decreed that it is shameful and horrible. So far, I've only managed a single great person but don't worry there's the first of many more writers to come hopefully seven points per turn we should run some projects 
Remember, you get a free tile every time you pop a book down. One free tile with every purchase. First use of the twins. We're gonna steal something from this city-state. I say city-state. Barbarian encampment that wants to be a city-state. Haha, <laughs> to that I say, no. Two faith for every temple. Don't mind if I do. Oh, speaking of temple, huzzah. Actually, I really should spread my religion. That is something that should be done. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget to do that. I was like, when you expand so quickly, your population actually doesn't have a chance to take in the religion. I, I like that. It's sort of a compliment to you in a sort of roundabout way. Temple of Artemis, hiding the fact that we just had a massive volcanic eruption in the north. What is happening to the hill back there? It's wobbling like a thing of jelly. Are my hills made of jelly? Is that what's going on here? I, oh, I dread to think. Anyway, Temple of Artemis gives me food and housing and couple of amenities. Not many amenities, to be honest with you, but that's not really why we were doing it. So that's fine. It's the food. Yes, we're growing nicely in my capital now. Oh, it's gone again. Oh, there's a lot of explosions happening around here. Don't ask about it. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Gold rush. Excellent. Two food production. 15% faith in gold. As long as the city's not on my continent. This one is not. I've got another two cities on the way. We're expecting everyone. Cities receive one faith and one food for every specialty district. This is a sovereign I kind of like the idea of. Yep, I'm just gonna grab them. I mean, I haven't managed to take that one so far, and they're really, really good, because more food in my lands? There's one thing I don't have any of, is food. It says spreading yum yum time. Oh dear. Ten population capital. Oh yes. It's only gonna get better. I was actually thinking of getting in a commercial hub with my next district, and I'm still tempted because campuses, I'll be honest, are being stolen, but merchants, nobody's going for merchants. I could get a monopoly on them without really needing to try. Two more cities, you say? Well, go on then. This is like a really stunningly pretty little city down in the coast. Oh. Little bay, two ley lines. This city is also on top of the ley line. Every city I'm settling kind of is accidentally on top of the ley line. I'm not even really doing it deliberately, to be honest with you. It's just sort of happening, and to that we say, perfect. What would be the most useful road, do you think? Oh, this is, there's an annoyingly little amount of tundra in this area. I'd like to settle land in this area. I think Moscow, let's get that route going. It's not very good for my capital, but it gets the boost and it's the road. It's what I'm really looking for. I could send it the other direction, but I want everything in my capital. Another writer. Unbelievably, the Netherlands are still generating more writer points than I am. It's wrong. I, I don't like it, but we will fight back. We will fight back. This game is long. There's a lot of chance for me to start getting these wonderful things. Oh, and by the way, twins are now stealing me some very, very wonderful units. Attack me more barbarians. Do it. I dare you. I'd like an archer in this area, so I shall take an archer. <laughs> Thank you so much. We've just got lumber mills. This is a huge improvement. Oh, Russian lumber mills. One food, four production, one faith. Excellent tiles. I was waiting on a couple of these all at once. Excellent. Oh, Moscow's just being casually destroyed here. Can you not? Can you please leave me alone? I'm going to cut down these woods, aren't I? Please stop it. Another swordsman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Just give me all of your units, barbarians. I'll have the largest army on the map apart from Aztec before you know it. What do Colossal Heads do again? Two faith and then plus one for every adjacent or two adjacent woods. Mmm, prefer to put the mines down, but they are very tempting. Whenever you've got a spare thousand faith, although getting settlers is always really good, Imhotep will always do you well, especially if we can pick up currency and then get celestial navigation very quickly. Let's improve a couple of fish. There's one in a lake right there. Get the harbor rocking and then get mausoleum and then we've got two three wonders effectively. Oh, Bisheng, this is what my capital needs. Oh, this so many things that I need to use my faith on at the moment. It's really tough. I tell you what, limes could not have come in at a better point because oh, this city is getting pretty fragile. But luckily, there it is and chopped out. And that's the galley gone. Safe, safe. But for how long? We will find out soon enough. But a commercial hub. Yes, let's get this down immediately. I know it's only a plus two. It's not by a river. I want to do... Oh, you tell you what. Swapping tiles is fun. Plus three now. Yes. New cities start with an extra population. Let's just do it. Finish the pioneer. Now we can do something different with our governors. Oh, that's Hercules. Mmm. 
That's intriguing. I might try and push Hercules through after this commercial hub. Oh no, the boats are back, but I bought my own boat this time. So that's kind of good. We'll see if that serves to keep us a little bit safe. There's a lot more boats though. Cicero, another writer. Excellent. Well, the market is now finished in St. Petersburg, which means I should be earning about four merchant points per turn. And I'm wondering how much faith should I be throwing at great people right now? The generals, the admirals, the merchants, and the writers are all about to vanish into the depths of the medieval era. I mean, I'm going to get a lot of great people later into the game, so I'm not super worried. I do kind of need to keep expanding, and sending all of these settlers out is the best way of doing that. I mean, ultimately, we're not going to have powered ley lines for some time. So there's such a thing of just sort of waiting and trying to use my faith for everything at once and not quite doing it. Today we'll see how it goes. Here's a harbour. Look at this. Plus four, plus four. Might as well use this plus four. Oh no, saying that. If I want to put wonders down, this one works better because it's got one, two, three slots available. Nice. All right, let's get at least one merchant. This gives me another trade route. They're pretty cheap and I feel like I should have at least a few. Also, have you seen how many troops I've managed to gain just from this one twin? Oh, so many units. So I have an interesting glitch in this game. If at any point Montezuma doesn't like the fact that I have all the luxuries, for whatever reason, this means that he freezes in his turn and I can't push the turn forward. I've had to reload like two or three times. So what I do is I, I trade with Scotland for a luxury truffles in this case. It triggers his condemnation and he gets stuck. I guess I may never ever at any point take the truffles, the snuffly trufflies from Scotland. It's impossible. Alas, that's it. No more. It's really weird. It's really, really strange. I, I don't know what's happening. Oh well. And now there's Himiko. Everyone decent's popping out at the same time. Okay, so we've got Hercules being worked in that city. Where's my next most productive city? Novigrod? Yes, by some way. Hmm. All right, get yourself a monument. We've got to get a hero. A merchant that gives us faith. Excellent. Just going to go and grab this wine and cotton all the way to the north. St. Petersburg's borders can look really stretchy and long. Nothing wrong with that. Another writer as well. Just stealing that under the nose of the Dutch. Excellent. Onto medieval era stuff on, on a lot of things. Oh, this merchant is doubles current treasury. I'm going to save my gold up and just claim you naturally. Yep. From now on, all of my faith is going to go into the usual city building. That's what we're going to prioritize now. That is a harbor, which means mausoleum. It is time to shine. But will I do it this era or next? You know what? With the amount of great people I'm earning, I don't think it's going to be a problem, so I'm not even going to bother waiting. Science, thief, and culture for all coast towns doesn't matter. The extra engineer charge is the only reason this is being built. If you've got Imhotep and Mausoleum is still available, pick Mausoleum because it's a free wonder. It gives you another charge. He starts with two charges, ends with two charges. It's all lovely. Now, Mahabodhi Temple and Apadana are the other two that I'm going to try and build. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzoro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Clint Hennes, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixomatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.